Four Roses limited edition release for 2024 features a blend of multiple bourbons ranging from 12 years to 20 years in age. The batch of Kentucky bourbons were blended and bottled at a barrel strength of 108.2 proof, or 54.1% alcohol by volume. I'll show the statement on the back of the bottle, which lists some of the distiller's flavor notes. You can pause if you want to read through that, but I avoided reading it before my own tasting. The total yield of the batch was 16,680 bottles, each being sold at an MSRP of $220, with secondary prices reaching upwards of $400. With that in mind, let's try this limited release out and see what it's about. To start, it has a dark amber appearance and clings to the sides of the glass, creating long and thick legs. The residue left behind is less than I would expect for a bourbon of this age. As a quick note, I let this whiskey rest in a Glencairn for at least 20 minutes before tasting. For the nose, there is a deep and complex vanilla richness, followed by sweet oak and that rye spice that I normally get with a lot of Four Roses bourbon. I get some dark stewed fruits and pie crust in there, with a slight hint of citrus and zest. There's no unwelcome alcohol aroma or sting on the nose. While it's not wholly unique, this is a perfect example of what incredible bourbon smells like. 9.2 out of 10. On the palate, there is a vanilla and honey sweetness with back tones of pleasant and slightly astringent oak. The oak notes in particular remind me of a really old and finely made oak desk or wardrobe like something I'd find at my grandparents' house. Those who enjoy oak, myself included, will certainly enjoy this bourbon. That said, I wouldn't call it bitter or over-oaked. It's very sweet and has notes of dark stewed fruit with a bit of that orange zest coming through. There's also a nice rye spice that reminds me of ground cinnamon and cloves. The mouthfeel is phenomenal, being both luscious and viscous. It does drink around its proof point, and overall the palate delivers well on what the nose promises. 9.2 out of 10. The finish follows through for a few minutes, with fading notes of oak, vanilla, and cinnamon. There's no bitter or unpleasant taste left over, and this is definitely a bourbon that you could drink too much of if you're not careful. The finish is a 9.2 out of 10. Averaging these scores is a simple process and brings us to an overall score of 9.2 out of 10, one of the best bourbons I've had. This is my first limited release bottle that I've had from Four Roses, and it's the best example of what Four Roses has to offer, at least that I've had. I have had a few different single barrel barrel proof bottles from Four Roses, and while those are fantastic, this limited edition release stands well above any of those. That being said, it doesn't quite reach the same highs as some of the other limited releases that I've had this year, like Russell's 15, Heaven Hill 18, or George T. Stack. I was able to get this bottle at its MSRP price, and as a fan of Four Roses bourbon, I'm happy with the purchase. That being said, I probably would not buy a backup if the opportunity presented itself, and I would have also been disappointed if I paid any more than $250 for this. In any case, those are my thoughts and opinions on this bottle. If you want to share your own thoughts and opinions, you can do so in the comment section, and if you want to see more great content, you can head over to my channel. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. My cat Marshmallow and I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Saturday. Please drink responsibly, and as always, thanks for watching.